In today's class, we are going to see about Mendel's laws. Based on his experiments of monohybrid, dihybrid and trihybrid cross, Mendel proposed three important laws. And the laws are now called as Mendel's laws of heredity. And the laws are law of dominance, law of segregation or law of purity of gametes and law of independent assortment. First we can see law of dominance. And this law states that when two homozygous individuals with one or more sets of contrasting characters are crossed, the characters that appear in the F1 hybrid are dominant and the character which does not appear in F1 generation was recessive. So here we can take the example of monohybrid cross. So what the law states that two homozygous individual has to cross. So here we are taking the tall and the dwarf. So the contrasting character of tall is dwarf or short. And it was represented by capital T, capital T. Since it is homozygous, it should be same. The genes should be same. Capital T, capital T. That is homozygous dominant. And small t, small t is homozygous recessive. So when these two are allowed to cross, and we will get F1 generation. And in F1 generation, we will get four offsprings. So these are the four offsprings. And these offsprings are with capital T and small t, that is heterozygous. So when two homozygous parents are crossed, we are getting heterozygous offsprings. And these offsprings, all these offsprings contain one capital T and one small t. Since the presence of capital T, that is the character of the dominant, all the offsprings are showing the tall character, that is the dominant character. And these are not showing the character of dwarf. That is the recessive character. That, that's why the law states that the characters that appear in the F1 generation was dominant. And the character what we got here is dominant. And those do not appear in F1 are recessive. And the character which does not appear here is dwarf. That is the recessive character. And this is the law of dominance. And the next law is law of segregation which is also known as law of purity of gametes. And this law states that when a pair of contrasting factors are brought together in a F1 hybrid, the two factors of the allelic pair remain together without mixing. And when gametes are formed, two separate out so that only one enters each gamete. That is... When a pair of contrasting factors are brought together. So here this is a pair of contrasting factors. So tall, its contrasting factor is dwarf. So they are brought together. The two factors of the allelic pair remain together without mixing. So here this is the factor for tall. And this is the factor for dwarf. And they both will stay together. But they will not get mixed. That is the tall character will not get mixed with this dwarf character. And the dwarf character will not get mixed with this tall character. And during the formation of gametes, these two alleles will separate out. So they will separate out and only one will enter into the gamete. And these are the gametes. You can see here one allele from one parent and another allele from another parent join to form the gametes but the both allele from one parent will not get enter into the gametes and during the formation of gametes the alleles get separated that's why this law is known as law of segregation and also the even though these alleles stay together their character will not get mixed that is they are very pure hence it is also known as law of Purity of gametes. And the last law is law of independent assortment. And this law states that the inheritance of two or more pairs of characters simultaneously, the factors or genes of one pair assort out independently of the other pair. That is, inheritance means crossing. So, when the crossing of two or more pairs of characters at the same time. So, at the same time, two or more pairs has to cross. 
so here we again can take the example dihybrid cross so here this is the round ringed and this is yellow green so these two characters are crossing at the same time so then what will happen the factors or genes of one pair are sort out independently of the other pair that is and these are the factors or the genes of one pair and these are the factors or the genes of another pair so here this r that is the round can group with this yellow r to this green and this small r that is a ringed can group with this yellow r to this green so that is it is combining with the other group independently that is it is not depending on anyone that only here the law is saying the factors are the genes of one pair assert out independently of the other pair that is the law of independent assortment and this law will be applicable only for dihybrid and trihybrid and we can't use it for monohybrid in monohybrid only one character will involve in crossing in dihybrid and trihybrid two or more pairs of characters will be crossed at the same time and these all are about mendel's laws